get us to 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 get your boy Doblich have to the whole back here for this beautiful football battle, and we have two guys who we believe are the two best keepers in the world. These are people say that we've been debating who is the best. Some people say Oblak, some people say Stegen. Let's settle this right now in the beautiful, lovely thing that we call the footballing flipping battle. So let's get it on. Stegen against Oblak. So first off, we've got reflexes. Um, both have amazing re reflexes. Both make amazing saves. And both have superb reaction times. This is really close. This is really, really close. Because I can give you examples of superb alien saves Oblak has made and superb alien saves that Stegen has made. So this is literally finite. It's literally finite who we can choose here and who we, who we really give this to. But I think we're going, I'm going to have to roll with Stegen here. I think Stegen has the better reflex and I think Stegen... Just is able to get down better and just make some better saves. But it's, it's very close, but just that Stegen is a beast. I just think Stegen's reflexes are some of the best we've seen in a long time. He's probably the best for reflexes that we've seen probably since young John Luigi before. Not the before now, but the before of young. So reflexes goes to Stegen. Concentration. Concentration, a very key aspect of the key keeper. As, a, as a, a keeper, you're not really called into action every single second of, of the day of the match, you know. But you always have to be aware. You always have to be aware because you never know when, when, you're, when you're going to be called upon. So really, concentration is almost the same thing of like how many mistakes do you, do, do you make? How many times do you form, form? How do you keep your focus? Um, and I went with this dude because I think this dude really makes mistakes. But I've seen a few mistakes from this dude. So the dude really makes mistakes because, so this, because this dude's concentration is at an extremely high level. So I'm rolling with, with, with Oblak. Remember, Oblak has one of the best defenses in front of him. So his concentration has to be even higher because he's not facing those many saves based on his amazing defense. So the fact that he's able to really make mistakes and still make saves when he doesn't have to do anything for long, long periods of time means that we have to really give him extra props for his superb, amazing concentration. So concentration goes to Oblak. Handling, who has the best gloves? Who can really hold hold the ball in, getting their gloves to, to, to the ball, not fumbling it around, you know? So who do you have most faith in with regards to catching balls, receiving balls, and keeping the, keeping the, the defense at, 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 at ease? So, so the keeper isn't pretty much doing a, a Macarena and hey hot potato with the ball. Um, I rolled with... All black here. Stegen's handling is good, but there are times in which his handling can be a bit sketchy. It can be, be a bit sketchy. For me, I just think that with All Black, I have more, I feel more at ease when All Black is, is receiving balls and catching balls. And I think with Stegen, with Stegen, I always feel like if, I don't know, maybe because he looks small, that he's going to drop the ball. With All Black, I never ever have any moments in which I think, oh my, he's going to drop the ball, he's going to fumble. So for handling, giving it to All Black. Footwork, let's keep it real. This is 2020. This is 1925. Um, your footwork is very important as a keeper because many, especially with the new rules now and everything where you can now um, take a goal kick from inside the box, it is very important that goalkeepers are very good with their feet. I think this dude has the best footwork in the world. You know, the only guy close to him, I would say, is Edison from Man City. But I think for me, he has the best fo footwork in the world. He can give him the ball in any place and he's, he's pretty damn cool. Right foot or left foot. So this is very comprehensive. It's not even close. Stegen. Stegen easily lubricates all black on the footwork skill. So Stegen gets that footwork attribute. Distribution. Again. The keeper right now, he's not developed into almost like the quarterback or the deep, 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 deep line play, um, play, playmaker. So there are times in which goalkeepers have main assists. You know, I think there was even a joke, some clowns said, oh, this keeper has more assists than um, Hazard. Eh, chill, chill, relax. So for distribution, both guys are pretty good at, at, at distribution here, but I do think that this dude is better. So I went here with Stegen with this. Stegen's distribution is amazing. There are times in which he has given assists and there are some amazing balls in that he has pre -pre produced from his, his, his distribution. And also, 
based on the team that he plays for, who likes to get the ball quick and get the ball rolling. Remember, Barca more attacking than Atletico Madrid. He is even called upon even more to try and get that ball quickly out to Messi, get it out, out to Jessica Alba, get it out to your boys, Semedo, and, and so forth. So for distribution, Stiegen gets it. Clutch. Who can make that superb save? Who can make that match-winning save? Who can really make that save to really keep their teams in it where it's tight as one on and an amazing save to keep their teams in it um or even penalty saves key saves it's close because this, these are these are the two best keepers in the world and they have come up with some amazing superb clutch saves but i'm gonna have to go with one here i'm gonna roll with stegen i think sh 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 people have argued that stegen might be one of Barca's best player and people would even argue that stegen was Barca's best player last season so i think in terms of that clutch keeping in clutch Coming up with those key, big, huge, amazing saves, I'm going to have to roll with Stegen. So Stegen gets that clutch attributes, gets that clutch skill. Stegen takes this one. Area. So this is pretty much coming out for corners, coming out for free kicks. Remember, keeper, loads of defenders, loads of, of players. Whenever they say, mine, do they come out and do they claim it? When they claim it, do they fumble it? So, and it is very important because there are a lot of goals that are scored from, from corners because you're going up against huge, massive, titanic defenders looking to bully you, overpower you, and get that ball in. Um, so, and there is, and it is a very important skill for a keeper to be able to come through great amounts of traffic, come out and claim the ball. Because the key thing is, for me as a manager, I want my, my keeper to catch the ball. I don't even want him to punch it. If you have to punch it, cool. But I'm much more impressive as a keeper, keeper can come through get past traffic, rise up like a phoenix, and hold the ball down. That's what I want for a manager. And for Ariel, I'm giving this to Oblak. I think Oblak is far stronger, far more commanding, and I think that there is much more belief in him whenever he comes out and claims the ball. And I think for, for Stegen, this might be perhaps one of his the, the weakest parts of his game, which is his Ariel ability to, to come out and claim balls from the air. We all know what happened at um, the Anfield Exodus. So Oblak gets the Ariel skill. So... There we have it. It's a good battle. Stegen wins this 4 to 3. Stegen wins it 4 for 4 to 3. He claims it. He's the winner. He's the big man. He takes it down. Stegen over Oblak 4 to 3. Remember, if there's a football battle you want to see, please, please, please put it right down in there. Look, this is my, my views. Give me a back and forth. Let's have a discussion about this. Do you disagree? Do you agree? Should Oblak have one more here? Blah, 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 blah. Give me a flipping and um, pecan pie. So, there we have it. Stegen beats All Black. 4 to 3 was a great flipping battle. And I'll see you again next Friday for the next edition of Football Battles. Peace. Become a Football Hot member and gain access to cool emojis on the live streams and get access to new YouTube content by clicking the join button here. And to view that new content crack, head over to the YouTube channel homepage and click on the community tab over here.